Princes William and Harry, along with their wives, Kate and Meghan, have emerged in public together for the first time since the Queen's death. The two couples made a point of walking through the gates of Windsor Castle together, a powerful message given the constant speculation about a family rift. The royals spent more than half an hour walking around outside the gates, examining the enormous pile of flowers left behind in tribute to Queen Elizabeth II and meeting with some of the huge crowds that had gathered. Live Updates Queen's funeral confirmed for September 19 No matter what room of the castle you are in, you can feel her presence, the Duke of Sussex said, describing the Queen as a great granny. The two couples were often separate as they spoke to members of the public and even accepted flowers, but royal watchers saw the moment as the second olive branch extended to the Sussexes in two days. Read more, Prince William Penn's emotional tribute as he contemplates life without granny multiple networks reported that the newly crowned Prince of Wales invited his brother and the Duchess of Sussex to join he and Kate on the walk. The Waleses had always been scheduled to greet well-wishers at Windsor Castle, but royal sources say the decision to invite the Sussexes was made in the 11th hour, said Omid Scobie, who wrote the Harry and Meghan biography Finding Freedom, in a tweet. Read more, Palace confirms state service to be held on September 19 at Westminster Abbey It is, without a doubt, a significant moment in the history of the relationship between the two brothers. Just as we saw after the death of Prince Philip and at his funeral, these are the moments when members of the royal family can put differences to one side to focus on the loss that has brought them together. Read more, what happens to the Queen's birthday public holiday in Australia now? Today's public reunion was a show of the utmost respect to the Queen. CNN cited a source saying William thought it was important to show unity at such a difficult time for the family. Charles' loving reference to Harry and Meghan in his first speech to the nation as king, less than 24 hours earlier, was also seen by many as a peace overture. I want also to express my love for Harry and Meghan as they continue to build their lives overseas, he said, after sharing his pride in William. Before younger pair's resignations as working royals and moved to the United States, the couples had been seen together so much they were nicknamed the Fab Four. But Harry and Meghan's exit, combined with negative comments about the firm made in high-profile interviews such as the one with Oprah Winfrey, led many to speculate about a rift. The appearance of the four together at Prince Philip's funeral last year had also been seen as a mending of bridges.